What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. But you was here. Right there. And today is Sunday. And today, uh, I gotta come out and tell them straight up. No, Michael. I'm gonna tell them what really happened to me, guys. Oh, God, he did. It went in the mouth. You did. You understand, right? I had to. We got an argument over who has a bad quick meat chicken sandwich. I said. <laughs> oh, my God. I couldn't keep doing it. Why did that sound realistic? I don't know. We would get in a fight over who has a better crispy chicken sandwich. I say Chick fil A has the best. And I say McDonald's. Okay. Oh. That's, that's about enough of you. Guys, hold on. Guys, if you're wondering what that is, I'll show you in just a second. It'll be after this intro. Guys, today is Sunday. And today we are going to have breakfast. Are we? I think. We're going to breakfast. Guys, today is Sunday. First, we're going to go to breakfast, and then we're going to go visit Grandpa at the hospital. Today is unfortunately the day where I got to tell him he's not going to the place that he was supposed to go today. Come and on. And there's still not, there's no bed yet. So he's going to sit there, and he's going to, he is going to be mad. He's going to freak. He's going to think we're lying to him. He is. Guys. I'm going to have to tell him about that. I'm going to let you know how that goes later. Guys, today is Sunday. Let's go to breakfast. But first, if there's anybody out there who was wondering how I did the intro. Guys, <laughs> this is just something that we used to do as kids all the time. Maybe because we didn't have the money for toys. Maybe. <laughs> maybe because we didn't have friends. Maybe. <laughs> you know, maybe because we were just stupid. I don't know. Guys, first, Aww. you take the wrapper that comes on a Reese's. Okay. Simple. Rip it. Let's go this way. Rip it. Put it on your teeth. By the way, don't try this at home because it's a choking hazard. Just let you know, only we can do this. Yeah, don't do this, guys. And suck. Don't do that either, guys. You don't do any of this. Did it work out? Yeah, ew. Let me flip this up. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Damn, give me a second. <laughs> Sometimes it falls off, you know? <laughs> I guess for a real solution, just knock some of your teeth out. Just kidding, guys, don't do that. <laughs> okay, pretend it's like a dating profile. <laughs> Hello, my name is Michael. I'm 30 years old and I'm looking for cool my dreams. How was that? Don't let the kid and stranger thing. Aww. Anyway, guys, today, what's funny? That was funny. Your turn. So you ready to go out on our date? I'm really excited. What's going on? What's going on in your face? What? Oh my God. Let's go. No. I'm sorry, I just remember that I'm married. It just occurred to me, you guys, how quick this month is good. With dad, like, being in the hospital like this, November. It, like, flew by. Like, number one, do you realize our anniversary is, like, this week? Like, I think it's, like, Thursday. Isn't that insane? I didn't get you anything. Okay. I forgot. I'm joking. I don't care. I don't mind. Guys. I'll get you something. Don't. It's okay. I don't really. Seriously. I'm not getting you anything. So I got her stuff. What? Guys. Oh, I'm horrible. Bridget, there's been a lot going on. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, the month has been flying by. Thanksgiving is in like two weeks. Oh my gosh. Are like, we having Thanksgiving? I'm hoping that dad can get out and have Thanksgiving with us. That would be awesome. That's the goal, you guys, to have grandpa at our Thanksgiving. But the point is... When do we decorate for Christmas? That's what I wanted to ask. Do we de- I don't want to just not decorate for Christmas. We're not feeling particularly festive right now, you guys. But we still got Halloween decorations up. It's true. I mean, we could decorate, like, after I clean. 
which could be in a couple days. Guys, let me know in the comments comment section, when do you start decorating for Christmas? When do you put your tree up? When do you put lights up? Just look Christmas around the house. Let me know. I'm trying to stay like as normal as we can while all this is happening because it's really easy to lose sight of of life. Yeah. And we we've totally lost sight of life. We've totally lost sight of life. I looked at the the date and I was like, "Dude, it's like the 12th." Yeah, like every day since Halloween, we've woken up, gone to the hospital, come home at night. And I'm not complaining about that. Of I course. love doing that. I love spending time with dad. It's just weird when I look at the the date and I'm like, "Oh my god." Yeah, it went by mid-November? Strangely fast. So guys, when should we decorate for Christmas? When should we try to get into the holiday spirit? Are you guys in the holiday spirit? Guys, we got a lot to do. Let's continue this vlog. I saw some posts talking about, is it too early to listen to Christmas music? And then my grandma texted me like three days ago saying a radio station has Christmas music. Yeah, well, she's the basis for Shannon, so... <laughs> Your grandma's driving down the street. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> anyway, guys, we were going to do a Shannon Thanksgiving video, but I don't know if you guys want to see that. Smack the like button if you want to see it. Hopefully we'll do it. Guys, we got a lot to do. Leaving the hospital right now, you guys. Uh, yeah, he's still in a bad mood because, you know, he thinks that we lied to him about him going home, which we didn't. Bridget is holding up traffic. I got to in this scene right now <laughs> guys hold on i realize you were holding up traffic <laughs> okay oh, here we go. let's do this all right getting out of here you guys i'll tell you more when we get home because they're gonna start beeping here we go boy the second reason i wake up in the morning yes me larry's too. giant sub number one was to go visit dad number two is larry's and number three on occasion is bridget guys <laughs> let me get the door for my girl so I gotta tell you like the most embarrassing thing ever. What? So you went to get the car. Uh-huh. This is embarrassing. What? Okay. Do you know how when I was in the room I kept looking and said, I got a fart. I, I really bad. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. So, you even had that like face and look. I know guys the whole time I'm in dad's room, I'm like, yeah, dad, you need anything? <laughs> and I didn't want to fart, right? Yeah. So, I get on the elevator, I'm on my way down. Oh no. Yeah, you know where this oh, is going. Oh no. So I get on the elevator, nobody's in here. I'm like, all right. It was like a moment of like, freedom, freedom. And you felt great. Dude, it was warm. <laughs> it was like a hug. It was like. Ooh, okay. And I, and I was still going. I'm like, mm, next thing you know, <laughs> doom. <laughs> Elevator doors open up and there's a family. <laughs> there's a whole family, a dad, a mom, a little daughter. No. A whole You're family. You're pranking me. I swear to God. Oh no. And I'm the only other one. Oh no. So they walk in the elevator. Oh God. They start mashing the one. Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, and I was sitting there, I was like, I don't know what that smell is. <laughs> <laughs> they knew, right? Well, at least you felt better. <laughs> no, I felt much worse in that moment. I felt another one come on because I was so nervous. Oh, no. Oh, anxiety farts? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, it's like that scene on Family Guy when, like, Peter farts on the elevator and somebody gets the one and he's like, uh, it was you. <laughs> you know? Oh my like, gosh. It was total humiliation, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how it went at the hospital uh, when we get home. It went, went really well, just dad is like losing it, man. Yes. He, he's losing it having to stay in that hospital. Guys, I'll tell you that when I get back. In a few minutes, we're getting subs. But yeah, I can't believe that happened. I embarrassed myself, bartered on an elevator. Ew. I feel, yeah. so, I feel so bad for those people. It's, let me tell you something. It was pungent. Guys, let me stunk. tell you. Michael's farts are out of this world disgusting. Describe it. Um, sometimes it smells like eggs and garbage. Eggs and garbage? Eggs and garbage. <laughs> this one smelled like just straight up egg salad sandwich. Okay. Oh, no. Farted out of somebody and then consumed and then refarted. Guys. Oh, you missed out on this. On the tea? This tea. That's yours. Hey! I got tea now. <laughs> you guys, 
<laughs> We're at Larry's sub time. Every time this sub looks like a picture. I find it insane that this is literally the best sub sandwich I've ever had in my life. Guys, let me know in the comment section if you have a Larry's in your area. I'm gonna take a bite right now. Lucky, I envy you. <laughs> Let me just show inside the sandwich. That's the sandwich, guys. Guys, <laughs> did you get it? Yeah, I did. Guys, Larry's Giant Subs is delicious. So we're gonna eat, then we're gonna go home, tell you about the hospital, give you a little bit of an update, finish out the vlog at the house. Not a bad day. Hey! It's got mayonnaise. <laughs> We're leaving right now, you guys. On our way home. Uh, we couldn't finish our subs, so we wrapped them up. These are not brand new subs. Yeah, they are. They're not brand new subs. Yeah, they are. Bridget. <laughs> We're eating them tomorrow, guys. We're not eating them tonight during like This Is Us or no, something. No, we're eating them tomorrow. We're totally eating them tomorrow, not in the <laughs> car ride home. Guys, <laughs> it's probably too dark to film. We'll be right back. Gonna be getting out of here in just a few minutes, you guys. Uh, before we do, I wanted to give you the update on Grandpa. What's been going on? Uh, today was an interesting day at the hospital. Uh, I had to tell him today that he wasn't going home. Uh, well, not going home, but he wasn't leaving the hospital today. He thought that today he was going to be leaving the hospital. He thought that today was the day he's leaving. And I had to let him know that he wasn't. Uh, and he did not take that well. Guys, he almost flipped out in the hospital. Uh, you know, it's like right now his ears are bad, right? But if you say the word leaving, he hears everything. Like, I, I could be like... Hey, I can be in his face. Hey, Dad, I've got $1,000 in cash. Do you want it? Dad, you want $1,000 in cash? Huh? Do you want $1,000 in cash? Do you want what? Do you want $1,000 in cash? I can hear you, Mike. If I whisper one time, I'm like, oh, yeah, Dad, there's something about you leaving. Huh? What about me leaving, Mike? Guys, he's very astute when it comes to, like leaving the hospital. So I had to tell him that unfortunately, today he went leaving. I just looked at him and I said, All right, okay, dad, I got uh, bad news. What is it, Mike? And I told him, I was like, dad, you're not leaving today. They don't have a room, you can't come. And he, his face just, he went from to, And I swear he was this close from like tearing the hospital apart. Like I thought that they were going to be calling security if he didn't calm down. He was so mad. He started ripping the wires off. He's like, I'm leaving right now. Pack my stuff. I'm going home. And I told him, Dad, they can't legally release you like this, okay? You wouldn't make it at home. You can't be released right now. And he was so angry at me, you guys. But he can't leave right now. He's got to go to rehab. And dad, I know that you want to go home, but you can't go home right now. It's just, I, it's, it's too late, okay? I'm scaring myself. Guys, I know dad wants to leave. And dad, I want you to be able to leave, but that's not in the cards right now. That's not how it works. And I'm sorry about that, but you, you can't leave right now. But he was so like, angry with me. I was pretty sure he was going to kick me out of the hospital for one. He didn't want to talk to me. He didn't talk for about 30 minutes, okay? That was the, you know, the big thing. I was like, Dad, talk to me. And he didn't want to talk to me. And at one point, uh, I hear him praying, you know, dear God, why is my son doing this to me? Why is he I was like, I was getting kind of mad. I was like, Dad, what do you mean? What am I doing to you? You have to stay in the hospital. You just don't want me to go to rehab. I was like, Dad, I promise you, I want you to go. You are going to go, huh? You're gonna be leaving probably tomorrow. Like, it's an extra day. I don't, I don't believe you. I was like, Dad, relax. So guys, that's, that's the update, okay? He is definitely going, hopefully tomorrow. As I've understood it, 
he's going tomorrow. But he is so mad at me right now. He almost threw me out of the hospital. He prayed that like he would leave the hospital tomorrow and he felt like I was lying to him. And dad, I'm not. I've got you back. I love you. In the end, before I left, he looked at me and said, I love you so much, Mike. I know you're doing your best. And dad, I love you too. I am doing my best. I'm sorry that you feel like you're stuck in there. But anyway, time to do this outro. Dad, I love you. You are getting out of there very soon. That's the update. Let's go do this outro. Well, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Had a pretty good day. I actually enjoyed today. It's been a pretty good day. Guys, we hung out with Grandpa. We went to get subs from Larry's. We came back. We watched TV. We hung out. Pretty good day. Dad, I enjoyed hanging out with you. Just simmer it down a little bit. Calm down. I know you're ready to get out of there. And hopefully tomorrow you will. He better. Guys. He's going to flip out. Yeah, if he doesn't get out of there tomorrow, you guys, something's getting broke. Like, there's going to be like one of those like heart machines. What are they called? Uh... Whatever, whatever those machines are, the EKG machine, yeah. it's going to get slammed against the wall, angry grandpa style, and I don't want to be there when it happens. <laughs> Dad, we're going to try our best to get you out of there tomorrow, but if you don't, just relax. It's happening. This is just the process. Guys, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for all the support you've been showing us. Today was great. Uh, seriously, thank you guys so much. Like. Subscribe. Favorite. Follow on everything but to us. And that's it. I love you guys so much. I love you more. No way.